Yo, what's going on guys? Arax here. Welcome back to another video for Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak. And today I want to talk about two very important armor pieces that you definitely want to check out, you want to unlock, that you might not have turned your attention to. And these, of course, come from the arena. I know the arena might not be everyone's favorite thing. Some of you guys might love it. You might like the challenge. Other people may find it more arduous. But there are two armor pieces that are hidden behind arena quest completions that you definitely want to know about. So in this video, I'm going to go over all the arena rewards. So if you guys do enjoy this, a like would be super appreciated comment down below if you have any questions let me know if you guys are going to be going after these but to begin with we are first going to turn our attention to the blessed feather this is one of the two feather earpieces so from a visual point of view they're not exactly the most exciting but we've got layered armor for that so honestly who cares but this one does come with the good luck skill and it also has a level two decoration slot as a reminder the good luck skill of course is a skill where you have a good chance of increasing your quest rewards there's of course no effect when joining mid quest but level one slightly increased your luck level two increased your luck and level three greatly increases your luck so it is definitely a nice thing to have especially if you are farming throwing this on going through carving of course going pursuing the items that you want this is always a nice thing to have it's always kind of hard to statistically work out you know the drop chance of things or quite how much this will influence things because of course this game is heavily based in rng but regardless if you're farming and you want to increase your chances having this is quite nice and if you want to get this you of course need to turn your attention to the arena quest and if you're now in elgado that is done by speaking to Master Arlo. There are a grand total of six new arena quests and if you want to get the first item, the Blessed Feather, you simply need to complete each one of these. You do not need to have an S rank completion, you simply need to just complete each one of these and upon doing so you will be given the Blessed Feather. So that is completing six quests for one item. However, the second one, which is the Soaring Feather, this is the one that a lot of you guys may well be more interested in because, of course, there are so many fantastic Silkbind moves in this game, so many fantastic Switch skills, and therefore, as a result, Wirebug Whisperer becomes a pretty important skill. And this Feather comes with Level 3 Wirebug Whisperer alongside Level 1 Wall Runner Boost, and it also rather nicely has a level 4 decoration slot. So it is very, very tasty. And of course, on the skill front, Wirebug Whisperer will increase the passive recovery rate while on the ground. Meanwhile, conversely, Wall Runner will make your Wirebug gauge recover faster while wall running. So basically, with these combined, you have the means to speed up your Wirebug recovery, whether you're standing or wall running. This is definitely a very nice thing to have. However, this one does require a slightly larger commitment. Because again, this will have you turn your attention to the arena quests, but you'll notice that of course, in every single arena quest, there are five different preset weapons to choose from. You are going to need to complete every arena quest with every weapon permutation. So given that there are of course, six arena quests and five weapon permutations per one, that is 30 quests you need to complete. Again, they do not need to be S rank, they can be lower. You simply need to complete them and you'll then be awarded with that item. So there you have it, quick little rundown on the items you get from the arena. Of course, in addition to this, you get the arena coins, so you can craft the arena gear sets. But largely speaking, these are the two rewards you will be getting from completing all the arena has to offer. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Let me know in the comments down below if you will be embarking on the task to go and get these, if you've got them already, and what you think. Similarly, if you guys have missed some of our recent videos, be sure to check out one of these ones and stay tuned for plenty more.